Hello, and welcome back to our Continuing Settlement Survival Extreme Mode Plus 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 series. I'm Larry, it's episode four, and let's do this now. As you will see, or can see, I did ghost down some uh, new housing that we're definitely going to need. It is calling for two more citizens wanting housing. I went ahead and set up for uh, the distillery because that start, you know, that's in the red. And that is one thing we cannot run out of. Uh, I went and checked good areas for fishing docks. And these are uh, the best places that I found. I also uh, preset for uh, uh, sand and for clay. Uh yeah, I know I'm only going to get one building online, so I'm not planning on running two. So just same thing with these, you know, I'm going to try to get one filled up and then if we can bring another one online, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, we have so many things going on right now. It is just crazy. Now, I know I hate doing this, but we need people. We need people big time. So, uh, unfortunately, I am going to flex the school again, and hopefully Lydia, okay, you know, that brought us up some workers, so that's going to help, and so we're going to stop this one. As soon as this is ready, we'll send people over there. I have... The construction people working on these two, so we have enough lumber for that. We still have uh, people gathering for us, which is lumber, which is absolutely what we need. And what I'm going to try to do is during the winter time, get us caught up on stuff. That's what I think we're we're going to need the most. So let's go ahead and reactivate this get all five people over there now since they uh, have the farming skill I'm hoping to see this really start to shoot up I mean go really fast because if they can then we can get some more gathering done I'm really worried about how things are going to work as far as uh, how old our population is getting. That's concerning me because we're going to start getting people dying from old age and that is really going to hurt. I'm hoping now that we're adding all this uh, housing, you know, even though you can't really call it housing, uh, that maybe we might be able to get some births and hopefully start getting a little heavy there that I don't know I would like to uh, keep these open all the time I know our water's starting to hurt and that doesn't help matters we need to get clothing going I mean we're we're just bouncing all over the place here and it's just like oh please I like to get the market going because uh, I'd like to get the skill for delivery because if we could do the delivery skill that would make life a whole lot easier because then I wouldn't have to worry about the settlers having to uh, fill up their own houses we'd have the market doing that but once again we are limited oh and we lost some crop that hurt. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pause this. And with our leftover people, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. We're going to go ahead and get two people in the big well. I am going to place two people here. That will give us that. We're going to go ahead and put somebody in the church for right now and 
we will get this one going as well. Now, I know we wanted things to be harvested, but, you know, it is what it is. So, what I'm hoping is we will get caught up on some of this stuff while it is winter time and people won't be pathing very far away. That's what I'm hoping for. And since we do have our builders still going, uh, this is a time for them to, even though I don't want them to freeze, you know, we're looking at 40 timber for the distillery, 15 stone, which we have, and 15 iron. So I'm going to get them started on that. And what I'm hoping for is that it'll be done in time for uh, next season is what I'm hoping for. Because we do have, with all the gathering that we've done, we do have, oh, zero births again. That is a bummer. I mean, yeah, we have a 54-year-old who is not going to do anything with an 11-year-old. 41, 49, they're not going to breed. We have a 16-year-old. Oh, we have two females there. Three females there. Ugh. That's not good. And they're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. Okay, we did have a birth. So that was good. We do have three kids. Except we're running pretty heavy on females. And that is not going to be good for us. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with females. I'm just saying for the game... It is not going to be very helpful. <laughs> okay, since we're coming up in December, I am going to try getting that. And we are going to try... Let me see. Uh, this... I'm hoping I'll have enough people to do this. I'm not sure if I will. I was really hoping that they would produce more than what they are. Same thing with this, you know, but the alpaca is not doing too bad. They could be doing better, but they're not doing too bad. And here we ran out of leather, so we're going to go ahead and turn on for uh, the alpaca we do have three people cold we do have somebody hungry but it looks like they got some food and okay I hope we have enough food stored up inside the houses where we're not going to get meat sickle pops Okay, this, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of these things filtered because I specifically have that warehouse for them. This right here is going to be specific for uh, our raw materials, which is going to be for our beverage and this one is specifically going to be for water okay and we will have this for agave 
because we do have some agave right now. And let me, we need to improve our roads for our people. So hopefully my builders won't get too mad at me for making them work. Well, we had three births, so at least we're getting something. I'm hoping we'll there are more boys so we can get uh, you know more people breeding. And why is everybody so cold? We ran out of fuel again. So let's cycle this. And hopefully they will have done something. Oh, I guess it would help if they were actually in there. And we have a meat sickle pop. I don't like that. So we did not have enough food to get us through the season and hopefully somebody will drop some food real quick and this person won't starve to death and this is now where I am going to pause everything and hopefully Okay, we don't have the chopping house. Everything is green here, so we'll put the clinics down. Take the church off. Uh, I'm not going to build anything. And we will go down to one water. And I think that's all the free people we have. So, what I'm thinking is since we have eight people, we'll stay five here and we'll do three here. I'm hoping that will work. And then what I'm hoping for is these fields will get planted quickly so I can turn people loose to do other things. You know, send my hunters out for a couple months if I can. And then, oh, come on, no meat sickle pops, guys. Please, no. I think I'm going to lose some people here. And you know what I'll do? I'm just going to queue this up. And, oh, not a gather all. Just to get us some food in here. It's not what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. So as soon as this, okay, it's done. Let's go ahead and come on. I paused you. You should be laborers, so go out and grab food. Again, no births. If we don't keep food and they're running around looking for food, we're going to be in serious trouble. 
Come on guys, I need you to do more fishing. Okay, I can pause this one. So, I'll get another person in here. I'll put a couple more people in here. That might help f get some food in here. And they've already gathered all that. Let's see if we can get anything else over here. Yeah, I wanted to get the hunter started, but there's not much I can do about it. Come on, guys. Deliver more food. Drop more food. And... I think I'm going to start this one back. And I think I'm going to do the same over here. Because I cannot lose any crops in the field. We need food. Because I think that's what hurt us last year, is we just had no crops. Or, we lost that last bit of crops in the field, and I think that really hurt us. Well, food-wise, I think we're going in better than we did last year. I think. Again, no births. Oh. I mean, the only person that I have working right now is my repair guy in the teacher. They're the only ones that hmm, I'm about ready to flex the school again because I need I really need people. I'm sorry, but I need the people. So, let's get the clinic open. Let's get the church open. Okay. They're done. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice number. Okay. So... We can get this one back open. We'll just do one tailor. We'll do one smithy. We have to get uh, building back going again. And we need the distillery. That will leave us with three people. And what I'm thinking is maybe we should be looking at, I'll throw somebody here for, ooh, we're gonna, the smithy is definitely gonna need more people. Zero births again. Ugh. And 
we still lost stuff out in the field. That is just so aggravating. So since we're in trouble on tools, we will get a couple people there. I'm going to add another fishing person and I'm going to add another alpaca person and just hope that this will do it. Once again, we're going to be hurting on, yeah, I, I really don't want to spend my uh, point on this, but we're going to have to do a delivery. So then, I'm going to go ahead and turn the marketplace on. We don't need any building going on right now. So, put a builder there and somebody doing water. And hopefully this will work. Because if they can at least deliver stuff out to the houses, that will make life a little bit easier. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is just totally weird. I mean, I haven't even hit the population to easy level. What, 30 people? <laughs> so... But it's not going too bad. I mean, we still have food, which is not bad. If we just had a couple more people, it would make life easier. I would like to get another alpaca field going. And... I would like to be able to send my uh, hunters out to go do something. Oh, Great Harvest slowed us down. You know, that would be nice, but at least we have food coming in. I mean, the food's actually in the green. That's a shock. Okay, what did you run out of? Oh, we are out of iron. So, temperature's warming back up again. So, let's bring in some iron. And the smithies should do it, I think, if they're out. And then, of course, we'll flex our people once again. I think this is the first winter that we actually had food to carry us through the winter. So that's not bad. Okay, now that we're in March, we'll go ahead and open up the fields and let's pull the people back. You know, this is going to be some rinse and repeat until we get some more people. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, who else do I need? Okay, that. Who am I missing? Who? Okay. We can do the distillery. I'm missing one person. Oh yeah. The marketplace. So we'll unpause both of these. And while they are... I don't think... Yeah. I'm not going to do have them do anything. I want them to jump on these fields the second that they can start planting them. 
So I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on the fields. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep a closer eye on the field and soon as it says harvest, I need to reopen the field. And we have iron again. So, oh no, somebody got injured. So I'm going to take somebody off of the alpaca. Wait, alpaca did 133, fishing did 293. Ooh, percentage, I'll, I'll just take Ben off. Ben. Oh, I already have Terry over there. Who's injured? Kenny's injured. And... So, where are they from? Who's the injured? Oh, I guess if I would click on where they were working church okay that I can live with bee swarm I do believe that gives us food clean them up confirm okay we got some honey out of it so that helps no students Four kids. Oh, we did have a birth last season, so that's nice. We're still full there. We're going to need lumber. So I'm going to have to task them to cut down lumber. As soon as this field is up. So we will fell some trees here. And hopefully, okay, I'll pause that one and they can, oh, wait a minute. Why is it saying that it can already harvest? Okay. Alright. Can this thing be harvested right now? No. Let me get this figured out. When do they actually start harvesting this? What percentage? Because I know, you know, it flows like this. Okay, they did get the trees done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on. I just want to see when they actually start removing. So then I know when I should kick them back in. Okay. So basically at 90% is when... So we may not lose anything out in the field this time. We 
We don't have as much lumber as I'd like, but that's oh well. We still have spirits. How much agave do we have left? We have 180 left. And who's using the timber? I don't have anything that takes timber. Other than Smithy, but that's closed. And, hmm, huh. this is confusing, but I will task them to take as much wood before it gets cold as soon as they are done. And what I'll do is... I will get the market open as quick as I can so that person can start delivering. Okay, this one's done. We'll go ahead and do that. Somebody, they'll start over there. It's not that cold yet. Why are these people? I know. Okay. So we're still losing uh, crops in the field. It has to be because they don't have a road. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. We will get somebody back in water. Guys, move your sign. We'll get this turn back on. We will get some road improvements done. I mean, anything that'll help the pathing speed things up. We'll have that. We can get the smithy turned back on. We will get the tailor turned back on. The tailor. They only have to run up to, let's say, what, 40, 35? And we need to get, oh, I can run without spirits this time. Did I misappropriate some people? I tell you what, we'll take one there and put them right there. Oh, well, we have seven births, so that's nice. Or seven kids. 1328 in food, that's not bad. Our water, that's a different story. We got hurt on water. And let me pause this. 15, we have 2015. Okay, we can actually get this started. I don't know if they'll have it finish before the end is uh, before planting but we'll be close we need to improve the output I would love to get another person into the mine, but we just can't.
Well, so far we've been holding our own and actually have had some improvements. So, yeah, uh, I think I think we've actually done pretty well. I mean, we added some housing and let's go ahead and flip this stuff over. I'll change everything over in February. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, we're still alive. Things are still kicking. Life is good. I mean, our births aren't where we want them to be, but they're doing something. Overall, I don't think we're doing too bad. I mean, we do want to get another person in the mine. That we do. We want more people in the fishing. You know, we can only do so much. And we just got a new technology point, and I'll think about that uh, in between episodes. So, if you like what you're seeing, you know, please hit the like button. I know it, this series can get a little boring because, you know, we're fighting to keep our population, and, you know, we can go from there. So, uh, I will talk to you in the next episode and I hope you're having a good day. I am. And so stay safe out there. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.